The Ethiopian Educational Media Agency presents English for Grade 7. This is Program 9. Lesson topic, The Diving Ducks, Part 3. Hello, teacher. Hello, students. Hi, Hi everyone. Leah. You promised to tell us the rest of the story. Yes, the story about the little ducks. Yes, I promised. But do you remember where I stopped? I remember. I also remember. Students, do you remember where we stopped? Good. Students, did the seven the little duck learn to swim? Did he learn to swim, Hawa? Yes. The seventh little duck finally learned to swim. All the little ducks learned to swim. Yes. Students say, all the little ducks learned to swim. Students again say, all the little ducks learned to swim. How about the diving, Leah? Did they learn diving also? Please tell us the rest of the story. Okay. Mother duck, do you remember the mother duck? Yes. Students, do you remember the mother duck? Good. The mother duck again called all of her little ducks to her. She called them to her again? Yes. Students, what did the mother duck do? Ubank, what did the mother duck do? She called her little ducks to her. Students, what did the mother duck do? She called her little ducks to her. Students say, she called her little ducks to her. Say again, students. She called her little ducks to her. Yes, mother duck called all her little ducks to her. And she said to them, Now that you can swim. Yes, they can swim. Then she added, Now it's time for you to learn to dive for fish. Oh, they are going to learn to dive. Students, what are the little ducks going to learn? Wang, what are they going to learn? To dive. They are going to learn to dive. Students, what are they going to learn? Yes, they are going to learn to drive. Now, let's listen to the mother duck again. It's time for you to learn to dive for fish. Now, follow me. Then, mother duck swam in the river. The seven little ducks also swam after her. One, two, one, two. To catch fish, you must dive for it. You must dive to do what? To catch fish. They have to dive to catch fish. The little ducks had to dive to do what? Students, to do what had they to dive? How? To do what are they to dive? To catch fish. Students, to do what are they to dive? Yes, the little ducks are to dive to catch fish. Students say they had to dive to catch fish. Students again say they had to dive to catch fish. Yes, Mother Duck said to her children, To catch fish, you must dive for it like this. Oh, she dove. Yes, Mother Duck dove into the river. She went head first. When she came up, she had a fish. Oh, she caught a fish? Yes. Wang, what does the Mother Duck have when she came up? She had a fish when she came up. Students, 
both had the Mazer Takav when she came up. Yes, the Mazer Duck had a fish when she came up. Students say she had a fish when she came up. Students say again she had a fish when she came up. Then what happened? Then six of the little ducks tried it. They dove again and again until each had a little fish. After that, the six little diving ducks had fish every day. Oh, they learned diving. And they had fish every day. Students, did the six little ducks learn diving? Tell me again, students. Did the six little ducks learn diving? Yes, the six little ducks learned diving and had fish every day. How about the seventh little duck, Leah? Did he also learn diving? No, the seventh little duck was afraid to put his head in the water. He was afraid to dive, so he had no fish. Poor seventh little duck. Students, did the seventh little duck learn to dive? Students, did he learn to dive? No, he didn't. The seventh little duck didn't learn to dive, so he had no fish. Why? Because he was afraid to put his head in the water. Students, why didn't the seventh little duck learn to dive? Because he was afraid to put his head in the water. Students, why didn't he learn to dive? Yes, because he was afraid to put his head in the water. Students say he was afraid to put his head in the water. Students say again he is afraid to put his head in the water. Then what happened, Leah? Then Father Duck, do you remember the Father Duck students? Good. Then, Father Duck called all his family to him. He must have been angry. I think so. He called all the little ducks to him. Students, what did Father Duck do? Wang, what did Father Duck do? He called all the little ducks to him. Students, what did Father Duck do? Yes. Father Duck called all the little ducks to him. Students say, Father Duck called all the little ducks to him. Students say again, Father Duck called the little ducks to him. What did he say to them? Father Duck said to the little ducks, Listen to me, children. There is no room in a duck family for a little duck who will not dive. I repeat, there is no room in a duck family for a little duck who will not dive. If you can't dive, go away and live with chickens. Students, who do you think will go away and live with chickens? Hawa, who do you think will go away? It is clear, the seventh little duck. Students. Who do you think will go away? Tell me again, students. Who do you think will go away? All right. Let's listen to Father Duck again. You, the service little duck, you can't dive, so go away. Swim across the river and live with chickens. Go, go away. Oh, poor the seventh little duck. Students, who wants to go away? Obank, who wants to go away? The seventh little duck. Students, who wants to go away? Yes, Father Duck ordered the seventh little duck to go away and live with chickens. Do you know why, Hawa? Because he couldn't dive. Students. Why did Father Duck order the seventh little duck to go away? 
students? Tell me again. Why did Father Duck ordered him to go away? Yes, because the seventh little duck couldn't dive and he had no fish. But he could swim. Yes, the seventh little duck could swim, but he couldn't dive. Students, could the seventh little duck swim? Tell me again, students. Could he swim? Yes, the seventh little duck could swim, but students, could he dive? No, he couldn't dive. Students, could he dive? He couldn't dive. Students say, he could swim, but he couldn't dive. Students say again, he could swim, but he couldn't dive. So, Father Duck ordered him to go away. Yes, he said to him, go away and leave with chickens. Leah, please tell us the story again. Okay, students, listen to the story again. Mother Duck called all of her little ducks to her. Then she said to them, Children, now that you can swim, it's time for you to learn to dive for fish. Now, follow me, follow me. One, two, one, two. Then Mother Duck said to her children, To catch fish, you must dive for it like this. And the Mother Duck dove. She went head first. When she came up, she had a fish. Then six of the little ducks tried it. They dove again and again until each had a little fish. But the seventh little duck was afraid to put his head in the water. So he had no fish. Then Father Duck called all his family to him and said to them, Listen to me, children. There is no room in a duck family for a little duck who will not dive. I repeat, there is no room in a duck family for a little duck who will not dive. If he can't dive, Go away and live with chickens. Students, who do you think will go away and live with chickens? Hawa, who do you think will go away? It is clear, the seventh little duck. Students, who do you think will go away? Tell me again, students, who do you think will go away? All right, let's listen to Father Duck again. Listen to me, children. There is no room in a duck family for a little duck who will not dive. You, the seventh little duck, you can't die. So go away. Swim across the river and live with chickens. Go, go away. Leah, then did he go away? Oh, I will tell you that next time. Students, I will tell you the last part of the story next week. Teacher... After the broadcast, please ask your students one by one about the stories they have listened to so far. Please follow the teacher's guide. Now, it's time for us to go. Yes, yes it's time, time to go. go. Goodbye, Bye, everyone. Goodbye. Goodbye. That was English for Grade 7 from the Ethiopian Educational Media Agency. Join us again next week in program 10. Till then, goodbye everyone. Goodbye.